In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create MailChimp automations. MailChimp has updated their interface, and so there is a new way to go about creating automations. For those of you that are not familiar with that term automations, it's nothing more than autoresponders. Um, and in case you're not familiar with that term, it's basically when you sign up for someone's web website, they may send you a welcome email or sometimes there may be an email course. These are what are referred to as auto responders or if you're using MailChimp, automations. Because as soon as that person signs up for your website, in exchange, you automatically send them an email. Um, you know, it could be just one email or several emails welcoming that person to your newsletter. And so again, MailChimp has updated their interface in order to have you create automations in a different way. And I'm pretty positive one of the main reasons why they're doing this is because you used to have to pay for automations in MailChimp, but back in May, they suspended that fee that was required to, um, that you had to pay in order to create automations and now it's free. And so here's the way you go about creating an automation in MailChimp. First of all, you need to create a list. And so I went ahead and created a brand new list and I've got one subscriber on there and it's me. <laughs> and um, so the first thing that we need to do is we're going to go to campaigns, okay? So once you go to campaigns, you're gonna to go to create campaign and then the next thing that you want to do is automation campaign, okay? And then you have the ability to choose which one of these options you'd like to go ahead and use, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and set up a welcome new subscribers automation campaign, okay? So again, just to repeat, every time someone subscribes to my newsletter, they download a cheat sheet or some sort of checklist they're going to be automatically sent this particular email or emails, depends on how many you want, in order to welcome them to my newsletter, okay? So let's come up with a campaign name. I'm just gonna say behind the scenes at nature's back, okay? And then you have to pick your list, okay? And I'm gonna use example, cause that's the one that has my subscribers, okay? And then you're gonna click begin. And then from here, this should look familiar to those of you that are familiar with MailChimp automations. From here, you pretty much do the exact same thing. But again, I'm going to go through these steps one by one for those of you that are unfamiliar with MailChimp automations. So the first thing that we need to do is edit the trigger, okay? So what this means is when someone subscribes to your list, how much time do you want to pass before you send this welcome email? Now, I highly recommend that you change this to immediately because obviously if someone is subscribing to get that cheat sheet or that checklist, they want it right away, okay? So of course you're going to send that right away, but you also don't want to, um, you don't want to miss that opportunity to really connect with them because the time that your subscriber is going to be heavily engaged with your brand is after they've just subscribed to receiving a checklist or a cheat sheet or something of that nature. So you wanna make sure that you're sending your welcome email right away, okay? Now, if there are several emails in this series, I'll show you how you can go about changing that um, in a little bit, but I'm sure most of you probably have figured out this is where you would go to change that, but you'll see, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and update trigger Okay, and then we're going to design our email. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this. I like to be consistent with how I name my newsletters. Again, this is for internal use only, but again, in the event that something you know goofy happens, there's a glitch or something, I just make sure that I name everything um, something that I wouldn't be embarrassed about in the event that something were to happen, okay? Behind the scenes with nature's back, okay? And then you're going to, you know, the subject line, I would actually put the same thing. 
uh, but I would actually add welcome, okay, to behind the scenes with nature's back, okay? And uh, I would probably put the same thing here too, okay? Again, you have the ability to change all of this. I'm just stating what I would do. And so this looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And so from here, guys, if you've got themes saved, you can go ahead and use those um, in the event that you're creating something brand new. You can choose any one of these. I tend to like to keep my newsletters a little bit basic. So I'm just going to use this one column newsletter right here, okay? And so from here, you have the ability to go ahead and change um, change out the image. I'm just gonna put my logo there. And MailChimp is so great. So in the event that you, you know, they have a lot of dummy text in their um, template. In the event that you forget something, it's going to let you know right away. Hey, you forgot to change this text out. Um, you know, you'll get a bunch of red, you'll get a bunch of red <laughs> at the end of the automation when you go to save it. It'll make sense in a minute. So let's go ahead and just change the text. It's time to get back to nature. And then I'm just gonna change this to, um, so happy you joined us. Again, just wanna show you looks like I'm gonna press save and close and so this looks good okay so I'm gonna continue save and continue all right so I went ahead and saved our automation it's automatically triggered so whenever someone signs up to receive our data sheet or checklist or something of that nature they're automatically going to receive this welcome email and I've got this set up for every day, all day, because we never know when people are going to subscribe to our list. So you wanna make sure that that's set up like that, okay? Just to see, every day, all day, as soon as possible, okay? And so then we're gonna click Next. And so here is that checklist that I was referring to. In the event that I had left some of MailChimp's dummy text, this would be red, okay? one of these things would be read and it would actually take you exactly to the location that you need to remove the dummy text from, okay? And so this is basically it. I could go ahead and start this workflow. And then you've got the cool rock on, it's letting you know I'm set, ready to go, and you're set with your automation. Now, let's say for this particular automation, I want to add another email to this, okay? So here's behind the scenes at Nature's Back. I'm under campaigns. I'm going to edit this, edit, okay? And then I'm going to add another email, okay? And then let's say, okay, because you don't wanna be too, in my opinion, aggressive, right? So let's put a couple days in between our second email, okay? And in the event that you're doing a course, you can have this set up, you know, the next day, wait the next day. But in the event that this is truly a welcome email series, you may wanna wait a day or two in between. So all you have to do, again, just wanna show you this, edit trigger, and let's say, you know, let's give them two days, okay? So then I'm gonna update the trigger so after they immediately receive that first email, two days later, they're going to get the second email. It's going to be the exact same steps that we did when we created the first email, okay? So you're going to fill in all of this information. You're going to click next. If you wanna change your design, you can, or if you wanna use one of the pre-populated themes, you can do that. And again, I like to kind of keep it simple. <laughs> um, in the event that you have, you want to continue using the theme that you just created, you can come under campaigns and that's gonna be the exact same theme that you had. So I'm just gonna click on that, okay? And just to show you that this is the second email and that it's different, I'm just gonna say, hey there, hey again, okay? 
save and close, save and continue. All right, and then you're gonna click confirm, resume workflow, and there you go. So in the event that you wanted to make sure that, okay, I wanna make sure that I've got both of my emails there, you can just click on that campaign and you'll see both of your emails are here. All right, you just learned how to create an automation using MailChimp. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.